A faint eclipse will rise on July 4th for most of the states. Here is what will happen. A penumbral eclipse will occur over the Americas between July 4th and July 5th, according to NASA. Penumbral eclipses occur when the moon moves across the Earth's lesser shadow or the penumbra. EarthSky.com reports a full moon visible in the evening of July 4th, Eastern Daylight Time. The next night, a barely perceptible eclipse will take place at 11.44 pm, with Saturn and Jupiter also visible in the evening sky. Most people in the Americas will be able to observe the eclipse, but only a small part of Northwest Africa will be able to see the event, because morning twilight will obscure the moon. According to NASA, a full lunar eclipse occurs when the moon enters Earth's greater shadow or the umbra. Sometimes the Earth's atmosphere filters out blue light and bounces red light on the moon. This results in the blood moon, the next of which will occur in 2021. So, when you are socially isolating at home on Freedom Day, feel free to squint at the sky for the tiny eclipse. You nerd. If you followed the animation so far, it's established that you are really into the moon. Try out these videos. According to NASA, the moon will reach its closest point to Earth in 2020 on April 7th, getting as close as 356,907 kilometers from Earth. This phenomenon is popularly known as the super pink moon. The full moon will appear on Tuesday night. It will emerge on the opposite side of the sun, according to Earth-based longitude at 10.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The closeness between Earth and a supermoon makes the moon seem around 7% larger than the average full moon and 14% brighter than when the moon is at apogee. NASA explains that the super pink moon receives its name from the herb moss pink, also known as wild ground phlox, which blooms in eastern United States during spring. NASA has a wild idea for a giant telescope that would make the moon look like the Death Star from Star Wars. NASA is funding an early-stage concept to build a giant telescope in a crater on the far side of the moon through its NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts program, the space agency announced on April 7th. The proposal for the Lunar Crater Telescope would use robots to hoist a wire mesh with a receiver suspended over a crater. At a kilometer in diameter, it would be the largest filled aperture radio telescope in the solar system. The telescope's location on the moon's far side would physically isolate it from electromagnetic interference caused by human activity, as well as allow it to observe longer wavelengths that are blocked by the Earth's ionosphere. This would allow scientists to observe fingerprints left by the Big Bang, as the universe expanded exponentially in less than a trillionth of a second after it came into existence. NASA has given the project $125,000 for a nine-month study of the concept. Other projects that received funding from the NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts program include a lunar landing pad and a robotic explorer for Saturn's moon Enceladus. According to a NASA-funded report, space researchers have proposed building a network of radio antennas on the far side of the moon. NASA says that the array, named the Far Side Antennas, will allow the agency to monitor the closest stellar systems more easily. The paper's lead authors, Professors Jack Burns and Greg Hallinan, suggest deploying 128 antennas by using a lunar rover. The antennas will be tethered to a base station that supplies central data processing, power, and communications across the array's 10-kilometer span. The study used Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lander as a reference design for the project's transport spacecraft. The far side base then will use NASA's proposed gateway station to transmit signals back to Earth. Habitable exoplanets closest to the solar system would possess magnetospheres that the antennas will be able to detect from the moon's far side, where there is limited sky noise. The study states that the antennas could also sound the moon's subsurface. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.